I mean, I always kind of wanted to be a doctor for many reasons. I think, you know, coming from the background that my parents came from, being such a humble background, it kind of always instilled in me to want to help people and really make a difference with my life. Uh, I think it's great, you know, pain management kind of affords me the opportunity to, to, to do that to the ultimate extent. You know, you have people coming in when they're really hurting and re really needing a helping hand and you're able to make such a difference in their life and the great thing about it is you're able to see it kind of right away. And I, I think that that's a great thing. You know, one of the things that made me proud to be a doctor and, and really made me feel like I picked the right field was uh, actually when I was in training, I met this, this patient who was actually a nurse and she had back problems, had back surgery and used to tell me how she could only work actually two days a week and, and how she really was missing out on a lot of things. She had two young daughters who she really couldn't be taking care of very well and, and things like that. And I remember kind of seeing her from the start to finish and after treatment, I remember kind of like the last day I was actually in training, she actually came in with her daughters and, and not only was she able to kind of get back to work, but she was also able to spend so much more time with her family members and her daughters. And, you know, for the daughters to tell us how much more of a mom she was able to be and how much of a more active uh, role she could take in her life and participate more in their lives was just such a great feeling that, you know, not only am I changing her life, but I'm changing the lives of, of her family members too. I think the most important thing uh, that I could say for why a patient should come and see me is that, you know, I think I can always say without a doubt that I'm going to do the right thing for the patient. You know, I see people and, and I really do try to treat them as, as not just the patient, but I try to guide my, myself and, and throughout my career I've tried to guide myself by the, the motto of if I wouldn't do it to one of my family members or one of my good friends, I really wouldn't do it for one of the patients. And that's really served me well and, and I think the patients really see that. And, and it kind of comes through, you know, they, when they come to the doctor, they don't feel like they're coming to the doctor. They really do feel like they're coming to somebody who's really out there to help them and, and really make a positive difference in their life. So my free time, I, I think it's, it's, you know, knowing that I spend so much time at work, uh, I think it's important to really just maximize your free time. I, I'm a big family person, so I love spending time with my family, so whenever I can spend time with them, I do. Um, but if I didn't have to spend time with my family, I'd say I'd love being in the, on a beach. So uh, growing up in Puerto Rico, obviously I was around the beach a lot of my time, so I kind of missed that. And uh, anytime I have a vacation, you always find me on a beach. Uh, but when I'm not at work and, and not on a beach I, or with my family, I guess you'll find me on a, on a sports field or a football field or a basketball court. I'm a pretty big sports fan, so uh, just kind of the average guy, you know. Uh, when I'm not at work, spending time with my friends and my family is probably the most important thing to me.